Hi, welcome back to my channel. So you guys, I'm so excited because I'm going to share with you seven things that I've done that I'm proud of in 2018. So let's jump right on in. So number one, I gave myself permission to make mistakes. I did. Because I'm one of these people, I'm always trying to be a perfectionist. And if you make a mistake, something doesn't go right. I get so angry and upset with myself. But I said, you know what, Michelle? Give yourself permission to make mistakes. Because you're going to make mistakes. How else do you learn if you don't make mistakes? So I had to actually do that to give myself permission to go ahead and make mistakes. Number two, I decided that I will never look back in regret. There are times when I look back at 2018 and I regret things that I wanted to do that I didn't do. I regret some things that I did do that I probably shouldn't have done. You know, spending my time doing things. I've even looked back and, and regretted some people that I've allowed into my inner circle. But I've decided that I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to keep looking back and in regret. You know, I learned my, from that mistake, and I'm going to move on. And I would encourage you guys to do the same thing. Number three, I took a chance on myself and my dreams. And because I've done that, I am now getting myself out there with more and more of my business. And so I'm so excited about that. So I want you to, to do the same thing. Take a chance on yourself and your dreams. If it doesn't work, guess what? It's not the end of the world. The world as you know it is not going to cease to exist. You learn from what didn't work, you learn from what worked, and then you can just make it better. Or if you learn that that thing is not really what you should be doing, then you just drop it by the wayside and keep it moving. Try something else. But take a chance on yourself and your dreams. Because there's nothing worse and then having goals and dreams and you keep them to yourself, the rest of the world doesn't get to experience it. Okay. Number four, I started trusting and listening to my inner self. That is a huge one, you guys. And I think so many people have a problem with trusting their inner self. And you're like, ah, I want to do it. I should do it, but I'm not sure. And I don't know. No, stop all that him and Han. Trust your inner self. Trust it. Go with it. Because here's the thing. You could be giving up on some really great opportunities, some really great people, because you're not trusting your inner self. Your inner self knows what's going on, okay? Number five, I let stuff go that I can't change or fix. Mm, that was a big one. That was a big one. And I had to, to, to decide that, Michelle, you are not going into 2019 trying to hold on to things that you cannot change and things that you cannot fix. You cannot, I can't change the way other people think and act and feel. I can't change that. All I can do is focus on what I can change, and that's things about Michelle. Simple. That's it. That's all. I can't change anybody else, so I'm going to let it go. When we have kids that don't want to act right and do what they're supposed to do, let it go. Give it to the Lord. Let it go and keep on moving with your life because you can't fix them. You can't change them. They have to change for themselves. Number six, I surrounded myself with other women who know the strength of lifting each other up. And that is, I've gotten active again with the women's ministry at my church. And I, can I just tell you that I just feel so enlightened. When we are together, the energy that comes from our our meetings and things is just so it's, it's through the roof through the roof so get yourself aligned with some like-minded people and y'all know i'm always telling you about being being careful who you let in that inner circle you can have people all around here but the folks inside this inner circle that needs to be a close tight-knit group of people people that lift you up that encourage you that will call you on your stuff when they need to and and you're doing the same for them everybody cannot have a seat at the table of your inner circle and you've got to understand that so surround yourself with people that are uplifting you encouraging you not tearing you down and oh that's not gonna work girl nobody gonna want to pay for that mm -mm. get those people out of your life they don't they have no place there and number seven i got into to stones and learning about their meanings and unfortunately i don't have mine over here with me <laughs> but I think I showed you guys and I don't know if I did or not but if I didn't I'll show it to you but my neighbor down the street had an event she invited my, my mom and I to it it was to her event it was so much fun it was great fellowship great food and we had 
a and it's a book I'm going to order about these stones that like different crystals and gems and what they mean and the power that comes from. Now let me let me be clear. I know that my power comes from the Lord, okay? I know that. But I love these stones and, and just the different meanings behind them. So I'm not going to get like way out there into it. But the ones that I have, I'm just, I'm loving those. And so I've got to fix the the closure piece so that I can wear them, wear them around my neck. Because not only does it make nice jewelry, but you know, like I said, it, it, there's a meaning behind it. There are some stones that help keep you, keep your mind clear and help keep you focused. So it's just, a, it's a whole different world. And like I said, I'm not going to delve too deep into it, but, but what I know, I, I'm loving it. And so I'm, I want to get this book that talks about diff, different gems. But again, make no mistake about it. I know that my help and my joy, my everything comes from the Lord. But I just love what I love about these stones. And like I said, it makes great jewelry. So hopefully I can remember to show you that in my Catch Up With Me video next week. So that's all I have, you guys. That's all I have. These were just seven things that I've done in 2018 that I'm proud of myself. And I just wanted to share those with you. Because you never know how they can help other people. So I'm going to do a quick recap and I promise I'll let you be. So number one, I said I gave myself permission to make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. People may look down on you, but so what? It's okay to make mistakes. Number two, I decided I'm not going to look back in regret. Anything that didn't work out, it didn't work out. We're going to move on. Number three, I took a chance on myself and my dreams. Number four, I started trusting and listening to my inner self. And I should say more because I've done it in the past, but I'm going to be doing more of it. Number five, I let go of stuff that I can't change or fix. I realize I have to let that go because it just it, it's a burden and it weighs me down. Number six, I surrounded myself with women who know the strength of lifting each other up. And I've become, again, more active with the women's ministry at my church. And lastly, I got into stones and their meanings. So that's all I have, you guys. Thank you so much for giving just a little bit of your time to share those things that I feel are important to me with you. And I hope that that helps you. Why don't you sit down and create a list of things that you've done that you're proud of? You'd be surprised what ends up on that list. Thank you so much to my newest subscribers. Thank you so much to those of you that continue to support me in all that I do. I love you guys.